Alex, it is quite the setup, complete with a white picket fence up at the top there. It's gotten a lot of attention on social media and the local community here in the Pacoima area. It's been in development for more than two years now. This hillside home checks a lot of boxes. It features gardens, views, and entertainment. But this artistic property is actually part of a homeless encampment off the 118 freeway in Pacoima. Built and landscaped by 65-year-old Jose Fuentes. He's originally from Colima, Mexico. He said he was a gardener, so he did landscaping, so he got really good with his hands. Nathaniel Padilla is an owner of Tacos El Canelo, a restaurant that sits next to the encampment that includes Jose's development. He says it's become something of legend. People love it. I have people climbing up the mountain to go give him gifts, like he's, like he's baby Jesus almost. I have many people come out and ask me questions about what's going on, what is this, is this like a memorial? No, it's not. It's just a creative man at work. Creative certainly describes the hillside. Nathaniel says that Jose helps keep his shopping center clean and that they have a great relationship. Honestly, he never does anything to offend anybody, so we don't have any reason to call any police or anyone to remove him from here. Thank you. He's a really genuinely nice guy, and we're, we're happy to have him here. City Councilwoman Monica Rodriguez addressed the encampment in a statement, accusing Caltrans of being negligent in maintaining it and saying that she, quote, continues to seek Caltrans cooperation and support to maintain their right-of-ways and work with appropriate agencies to coordinate services for the unhoused who are living on state property. Caltrans says it is working with various partners to move the unhoused into safer situations and that due to COVID-19, Caltrans is proceeding with encampment cleanups if there is an immediate safety concern or threat to critical infrastructure. Jose says that no one has ever asked him to leave the hillside or has offered him housing, but that whatever happens, he'll keep his creative flair. No, nada. ¿Por qué no? They take it away, we move on, we build another place. Now we asked Jose if he